Hi hey guys, welcome back to Simraid YT and today we'll be having a look in the Doom Tower in hard and it'll be the Celestial Griffin. We'll get straight underway and once we finish the fight then we'll show you how we got the champions set up. So we've got Marta in the team, Krutraxa, Underpriest Brogni, Rotos and Lanicus. Now under Priest Brogni is there for his shield growths. Lenicus is there, you know, she can increase the the buffs. You know, they allow the time, extra time, extra turn for him to be on as well. Rotos is there for the damage she does, the critical damage. Hopefully she can do some one hit kills. You know, that's why you build her as much crit damage as possible. It's a pretty quick run usually because this is only 4.30 on the hard. We're using all legendary champions so it does make the run quite easy to do. Quite quick as well. But yeah, once the run's finished then we'll, then we'll show you how we've got these champions set up. I don't worry if I lose a champion as I did here. And crew tracks her. You know, because it's always guaranteed 100% to, to win this team. You can see Rotos does the extra damage when she gets those extra turns. Increase attack there from Marta. Increase tool down. And that was the Celestial Griffin 430 on the hard in the Doom Tower. So now we'll go into the champions and we'll show you how we got this team set up. So first off we go into Priest Brogni. Now I do have him set up in Reflex Set. Now he's in the Reflex Set and Crit Damage because I use him in my other teams as well. In Ultra Nightmare and the Clan Boss. So he's not the fastest of speed, but he's speed tuned for the clan boss. 56,339 HP, 4,300 just over an attack, 3,000 defense, speed 187, crit rate of 61. Now his crit rate's only set at that because he only needs around 65% crit rate in the clan boss when he goes on spirit affinity. Crit damage 296, so as much crit damage as possible. 253 resist and 147 accuracy. You could do it with a bit more accuracy on him, probably, you know, around the 180 200 if you can get him to that stage. You know, he's more beneficial. His skills, he is fully booked out in each skill. I won't go into any of the details with these HP burns, shields. As you can see, he's got the block buffs and fishes and increase attack. Puts the shield in place for, for the champions for each turn. By having the blessing of hero souls, so it gives additional attack and a bit of extra damage for each enemy. His masteries, he comes down into giant slayer and then in support role. Then we've got Marta. Marta is set up in the fence into war master down through into the support. I won't go into these, reading these out one by one. You can do that in your own accounts and look at them to see how I have these set up. The skills, as you can see, I have a fully booked out. She does attacks one enemy, 45% chance placing 60% decreased defense. That's what she's there for. Increased defense here as well, plays 60%. And counter attacks, buff on all allies for two turns. I put her in brimstone. So she does get that brimstone, you know, advantage. Artifacts, so I have her in Lifesteal and Accuracy. We'll have a look at her stats. She's a 49,995 HP, 1700 attack, 4,625 defense. So put as much defense as possible onto her. Speed 193. So she's not overly speeding and fast or anything, but you know, you can make her a lot faster if you want to. 80% crit rate, 115 crit damage, 236 resist. But accuracy is the most important, so she can get that decreased defense down. The 437. 
Now, Rotos, you just want to build her with as much crit damage as possible. Now, because that's what she is. She's there. So you give her in the Cruel and Savage set. You can ignore 25% enemy defense. And the Cruel will give you the additional 15% attack. And ignores 5% of defense as well. We'll have a look at her stats. We're at 32,500 HP. Attack of 5,388. So as much as attack as possible to go along with that defense. Crit damage. Put as much as well. Defense, 2,700. Speed, 202. Crit rate, 75%. Resist 227 and accuracy 144. Now she is fully booked out. There's a 75% chance of placing 60% decreased defense debuff for two turns and also has a 25% chance of play granting an extra turn. De decrease the target's max HP by 20%, then adds that HP to this champion's own max HP. Attacks one enemy will ignore 60% of the target's defense, will ignore unkillable and block damage buffs, will decrease damage from enemy hits, that income damage from any single hit, not exceed 50% of the champions. HP, we're going with Soul Reap, so it gives a true target, target threshold 4%. Masteries, we've gone down into the Hell Smasher here. Has a 50% chance of ignoring 25% of the target's defense. So that's just hopefully then they drop the defense down and you get more damage. And then going into the defense roll. Then we have Lenicus. Now Lenicus I'm using on my Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss team as well. So she is built for that, but she works quite well in these other areas in the game. She goes down into offense, into Warmaster, and then in your support tree. Now I do have a fully booked as well. You just got to remember all these champions are legendary books. Attack one enemy, place 15% continuous heal buff. Then teams up with three random allies to attack a single enemy. So you know her and two other champions will attack away. So that gives you extra benefits with this skill. And then she has places a 30% increased crit rate. So if your other champions are only a 70% crit rate, she'll increase that crit rate to 100%. So just remember that when you come to your other builds, like road tiles and that, you know, you only need to get that 70% crit rate. You can just work crit rate. You can work on putting extra crit damage and that onto the champions. You don't have to get that 100% crit rate. As Lenikas will bring that into the, in there for you. Now, I have Lenikas in Reflex and Divine Speed, so Reflex, you know, 40% chance to reduce the random skill by one, and the Divine Speed, so with Under Priest Brogny in the team, you know, he, put, he puts his shields up, he puts his shield up on all champions, then she can extend that shield to keep the shields alive. Total stats of her, now you got to remember she is speed tuned and everything for the team what I use in Ultra Nightmare, so that's why she's fast at 271, so she can take as many turns as possible. And then she's 49,639 HP, 3,317 attack, 2,609 defense, 271 speed, 56 crit rate. So she is a little bit low, but it's fine for what I use her in other areas in the game. Crit damage at 176 because she's not really there to do crit damage the same to do your damage. She's there for, for the buffs she gives. 172 resist and 249 accuracy. Last off we have Crew Traxxer. Now Crew Traxxer we have in 2% sets of attack. 15% gives additional attack. Norse 5% energy defense. And a set of speed here. We have her at 41,000 HP. Nearly 5,500 attack, 1744 defense, 190 speed, crit rate of 97, so it doesn't matter. With Lenikas in the team, gives an additional crit rate, so she's well over the 100%. Crit damage of 225, 181 resist, and 163 accuracy. The skills, she is booked out, character. As you can see, attacks one enemy four times, will ignore 50% of the enemy defense, so that's why you're building it with as much attack as possible, and the crit damage. Attacks one enemy has a 75% chance of placing 25% weakened debuff for two turns. Has a 75% chance of removing two random buffs from the target. Grants an extra turn. And then we place the revival and death buff on this champion for two turns set at the beginning of each round. Place the revival and death buff on this champion for one turn when this champion kills an enemy with a critical hit. Does not work with spiraling, so just remember that. And then within the fence, we're going down to 
Giant Slayer, and the Defense Tree were down here as well. Okay, guys, that was our team there in the in the Doom Tower. Okay, thank you, and we'll see you on the next video.